Uh, council recognizes uh, Gary Palmer. Um, I know we had a bad summer with the flood. Things got out of hand. A lot of, a lot of things still ain't right this time over that. <clears throat> but it was brought to my attention this winter when we got some visitors fly in for the holidays. They start pointing out things in the town. Now, I, I, I don't want to be. I don't, I'm not going to sound like a, a crybaby, but our houses are our investments. I'm leaving mine to my children, okay? If anybody knows where I live, I take nice care of my house, okay? I keep it up, I do what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> if my house was in Upper St. Clair Peters Township, I'd get $80,000 more for that house. Now, I know that's never gonna happen here, but we have to put together some type of plan, and you have to get active. And we have to start looking in this town and start cleaning it up. Uh, you must be blind. I live up on Friars Hill. If you go up that hill, from the bottom of the hill, there's nothing but garbage. Someone built an overhang parking facility right on the turn. <clears throat> there's been garbage and tires laying there for three years. They just got the motorcycle out of there. There's a guy that bought the old SNPJ club up there. He has yellow tape. It looks like a murder scene for the last 15 years. I mean, why, why, why do we have to let this go? Why, I mean, doesn't somebody see this and say it's an eyesore? I mean, it's just trash cans left out on the curb, laying out on, on the, I guess see every day going to work, down on the glass. Uh, don't, don't we have ordinances? Do we, someone tell me, do we have ordinances? We absolutely do have ordinances. Well, who the hell, who the hell enforces them? Who? Um, it, it, well, I could, I, could, I could tell you five vehicles in this town that have mold growing on them. A four-year-old can tell you that that car hasn't moved in, in years and has been sitting in driveways. I can answer as far as uh, code enforcement goes. Um, for the last six months, we've done none. I can say that. I, I, yeah. I can understand. We've had big problems. You have yeah. everything. And what we do as far as code enforcement goes is we do try to drive around, okay? We do have houses that are issues that look, look like nothing's being done but are in bankruptcy and we can't touch them, have been, have been condemned, and we're waiting to get um, money to take them down and those type things. So when you look at some houses and think nothing's being done, it is. I mean, we have, we have some that... I can name probably five that have been abandoned and left for us to deal with. As far as tires sitting in an area or something like that, we can't see everything. I can't see everything. So I, I, it helps me very much if you see that to just call me and say, "Worry, there's tires sitting there." We'll send. I immediately send a letter. I send a final notice, and then they go down to the magistrate. That's, that's, that's how it works, as far as that goes. If it's structural or something like that, the building inspector deals with that. Um, as far as high grass and those types of things, and weeds and those types of things, a lot of times um, I have, I'll send a letter and I'll have a residence do just enough to where I can't cite them. But to anyone else, it doesn't look acceptable. So there, you know, there are a lot of things that we try to do. Um, I send out tons of letters. I didn't want this to be your problem, because yeah. I know you have a lot. And, and if I know that this is all on your shoulders, I wouldn't have really brought none of this up. Yeah, I've, but it, it's very helpful if you call, because if somebody calls, then I get a letter out right away. I go up and take a picture, and I get a letter out right away. So, but we have a, we have quite a few houses that are abandoned that we have to address now. And just one last thing. I know we have zones, zoning. Mm -hmm. is not, certain people are allowed to have different things. Mm -hmm. What if we get on these people and just tell them, how about cleaning up your area and make it a little bit more presentable? You know, other areas have the same things, but you go into their towns or boroughs, mm -hmm. you don't even know it's there. 
that's, that's all I got to say. Hey, Garrett, I, if I could, I can answer your question about the abandoned vehicles. Uh, last year, we have 43 of them that have been adjudicated abandoned, but my abandoned vehicle officer has a list over there, literally with dozens on there, where he's working with the owners to get them either brought into compliance or out of the property. We do work with the residents on that. It's not like we're going to take a hard line you know, 48 hours. And we do understand people work on their cars. But um, it, in order for a vehicle to be abandoned, just because it doesn't move, that's not enough to meet the requirement. The registration and the inspection both have to be expired. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's different, if it's on the street, if it's on their property, that's another issue. So right. there's different rules that apply in each, in each instance. I understand. Hey, Gary? Hmm? I talked to you after the meeting. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Greg Jones, please. 